Yeah, Rooks. Oh, you picked up the cube organizer. I'll put that together. Rugi, come tell me bye bye. Um, it is heavier than I expected. Oh, just got an email. Oh, sweet. The uh, iPad comes in tomorrow, the new iPad with the Apple Pencil. I need to figure out what I'm going to do for that video. Let's, oh my gosh, let's make that a plan right now. I don't remember where I put, there it is. I didn't plan on this, but this is what comes with being an ADHD or whatever you call it. Side quests to the side quest. This soap was right next to the drill I'm grabbing, so. Oh, God. what? Flipping bubbles, dude. Okay, I'm back. I have 11 minutes before a call I have to be on, so we're just gonna speed run this while the kid's out. Makes it way easier. Slight problem, this is pretty badly damaged. Look at that. That must have come from here or up there. Looks like I have to take this back. Rubbish. But assembling something has given me the idea I need. It's so heavy. I know, for what it, it is. It like, really light. I know. I was too. Thank you. Alright, gotta go get my teeth brushed and I'm gonna take this thing back, pick up a new one. I really wanted just yeah, I really wanted to get I figured out what my problem is. I bought this 3D printer. Well I didn't buy it actually. I got sent it a long time ago and I've never worked out how to properly use it. It's weird. And it's never worked out properly, so that's what I need to figure out. Because we're gonna print something. Obviously. This car is so much quieter than mine. So I was having a look for some ring molds on Amazon and they're not gonna do what I want to because it kind of has to be set up for this. So with the iPad tomorrow, I'm gonna design the ring, the silicone shape. I'm gonna design a mold <laughs> for the silicon. So this is gonna slip into the silicon mold that I create. I then pour over the silicon and see what happens. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> Oh, Oliver, you're looking rather sexy with that new haircut. Uh, yeah, I also picked up the new set of the thing for my son, so I got to take that in. Come on. Yeah, you don't get to watch this bit because it's going to be too awkward watching me carry it. So, cut. I lost all the audio for setting up the printer here, but I, as I was going through this, I realized that setting something like a 3D printer up, it's not just about getting it done, it's about doing it right. It's kind of... <laughs> The way I'm likening it to is running a marathon, you need to put band-aids, you need to put plasters on your nipples because it's inevitable what's going to go wrong. And it's the same with 3D printing. And I only know this as a result of following the, a tutorial to get it fully set up and properly set up. Because if you don't get it set up, you know, as close to right as <laughs> whatever barrier, whatever constraints they say to do, then it's just not going to function. And I'm going to have the, the same problems that I, as I previously did. I'm currently grabbing a post-it note. Oh boy. This is gonna go underneath and it suddenly just got really dark in here. From what I understand, then this needs to go down. Oh gosh. All right, now, now we find something random to test print. Okay, this is a nice little surprise. Put memory card in upside down, which is weird. Turn it back on. So we're gonna preheat and auto home. To be quite honest with you, I have no idea if that is the right steps. So we'll just do a time lapse of whether this does it right or not. How long is it gonna be? It's doing something. So I think we'll just leave this for a while and come back? Yeah, okay. My plan with every <laughs> video is to do the whole thing in one day. Each video takes a day. Honestly, I hate the idea of things stringing over one uh, over multiple days. But once I started this printing, I set the time lapse and I went upstairs to put the drawers together and I was gonna film different angles and whatnot. But my son really wanted to help. And at first I was like, no, you, you can't help. I need to film it. And it's just too difficult trying to film lots of different angles with him. And I realized, I couldn't believe this, that I was choosing to do something for this video over my son and I never want that to be the case. So long story short, I put that together. It was really fun doing it with him. We had the print going on time-lapse, but the battery ran out. So I don't know how much of the time-lapse we've got. I'm about to find out. But today the iPad's coming this evening. The test print worked. You want, let's just see, you want to see it? How'd you do? 
Honestly, I doubt you'll be able to get, you might be able to guess. No, nope, you'll never guess. So here it is. If you can't work it out, these are toes. I need to peel this off, but it's gonna require a lot of cleanup. But in the next video, I'll show you them in action. I'm so glad this printer works. Tomorrow, or later today, so the video that you get tomorrow with the iPad, I hope you'll like that. <laughs>